Recently, we looked at the reporter lens in a video, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the new classic lens. The classic lens is available for professional and higher, so you'll need at least that tier to use it. The first thing I'm going to do is create an RSS feed dynamic source deck, and I'm going to choose the classic lens. The DT feed is OK, but I want to feed with some tech-based images. So I'm just going to switch this to the Verge's RSS feed because I think the Verge is an excellent site. They have a lot of good-looking images and articles. So here we can see that it employs sort of a left-right image overlay similar to Half Moon or Proto, some of our other lenses, and we have our spines. So in terms of style, I'd like to set this up with a custom size. I think I'd like 800 wide by 450 tall. And that actually is a much better looking deck. Let's do 350 tall. I want sort of a stretched look. There we go. So it looks pretty good. The cool thing about this lens is that we've added a bunch of configuration options for you. In the navigation tab, you can actually see that you can change the color for the inactive spine. Currently it's white but we can change that to sort of a gray. We can also change the text color for the inactive spine. Currently it's black, but we can change that to a white. And then you have the active spine color, which works for the hover and the currently active spine. Let's change that to something that's a little bit different than pure black. How about that? Two E's. Now, the slide area here looks pretty crowded because we're showing all possible information. If we were to go to the Content tab, we can change the date format to Do Not Show, and we can show author, we can turn that off. So now we just have a title and a description. It looks really nice and clean. The other thing we can do is we can adjust the number of slides and change the thickness of the spines. So I think five articles is a bit too much. I'd just like to show three. So I can just say I want to see three articles. There's only three slides. And if we go back to the navigation tab, we can see that there's an option for the spine width. Currently, it's the default of 35, but we can crank that up to 57. And we have much beefier looking spines. So these are the three most recent stories on The Verge. If we wanted to customize this a little bit more, instead of having one, two, three, we can use Roman numerals, ABC, and there's uppercase and lowercase options as well. So let's use uppercase letters. Story A, B, and C. In addition, we can actually turn the spine titles off. So all we get are A, B, C. This is a little less intuitive for an example like this, but there are several situations where a user might want to do this. And these are the basic features of the classic lens. It's important to note that the Classic Lens works for custom content slide decks as well, where the inner part of the slide is configured just the same as all the current custom content sources. That means that you can change the caption position from the left to the right, top to bottom, and you have all the options that come with a regular custom content slide deck. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it gave you a bit of a glimpse into the Classic Slide Deck Lens, the one with the spines. And until next time, see you.